national interests, yep. attacking big money in politics, saying no one can own me. I think yeah. that's a big part with also crossover appeal to Democrats and independents. Yeah. Uh, Joe, Joe there's, al there's also something going on, and I know you've heard this, and it is that none of these people, maybe with the exception of Trump actually, have dealt with the psychic blow that occurred to nearly everyone in America. Now, not only 1% of the people in this country have someone serving in two wars, Iraq and Afghanistan. 99% of the country was affected by what happened in the fall and winter of 2008, 2009. And the psychic trauma of the collapse of the economy is still being felt strongly I in totally every state. Agree. Every state. Totally. The no? that, that's another thing, the collapse of the economy. And also, we don't win wars anymore. We just don't win wars anymore. We don't win in Afghanistan. We don't win in Iraq. We don't win in Vietnam. We didn't win in Korea. We haven't won a war since the end of World War II. You could look at the first Gulf War, but unfortunately you've got to see part two of that. And Donald Trump is a strong leader and you get the sense again I'll be the greatest military we all laugh at that his TV generals we all laugh at that but you ask a rank-and-file voter would Donald Trump take you to a war where he would go halfway no they would believe if he's gonna go in he's going to win and I, I, 